going to have an old time traditional exercise. Uh, Auntie Mildred. Auntie Mildred is yeah, Baba, yeah, yeah, I did be a maybe a it, it actually gave a kind of the sense of being a member of a family many years ago. In those times, 25 years, 30 years, 20 years ago, it is not done. If it is not done, we wouldn't commence praises. So, in the beginning of the service, I was opening prayer, it done with. Now, this song is a song that we always sang. Now, where you know, not the Bia Tai Eto. And we will rise up on our feet. And we are sorry, John. You now so. And we reach out to one another. Now you are going near and change. And then we sing this song with smiling faces. Now you are two new moon. Now you are three actually near. I was just asking Raymond. Raymond, have you heard this song before? Now let me be sure. Raymond, so we are saying we are two. Hey, I know. Say, Pastor David, David, David. Oh, say, Pastor, where did you? Yeah, yeah. And we are moon. Why Jesus Christ is moon? I don't know if you remember that song. <laughs> I don't know if you remember that song. Oh, yes. We are heads of the Father. I don't know if you remember that song. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <Devil of four. laughs> so, so we have those of us who were from the other part of town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Is that, that, that's what we used to. Uh, no, no, then no, we yeah. also came to town. Nah, yes, we are back, and then we rise up on our feet this morning. Nah, yes, sorry, I, join you now, so I, I want to sing this old time song. It's a song that reminds you of the Father, irrespective of who you are. Irrespective of situations and circumstances. We have one common denominator. The blood of Jesus. That paid you and I. The blood that saved you. Is the same blood. That saved the person sitting by you. The blood that saved you. Is the same blood. That is. That is working and hard work on the person you don't want to smile to. To be in the house of God is not a prerogative. To be in the house of God is a privilege. We do not deserve it. We don't deserve it. But Christ has found us. It binds us together. We are a family in Christ. We are hers. And we are joined hers in Christ. The common denominator is Jesus Christ. You are here not because of a man. You are here not because of a group. And you are here because Jesus died for you and I. If we say yes to Christ, woman, me no, me no, I don't think I And that is the reason why I have no choice but to love you by force. I don't think I mean your baby. I say I was some dose. Send your tear behind me. The same blood. That saved you. In the same blood. That saved someone else. We are here as a family. And God is the one who enacted this family. You may not like my tribe. You may not like the profession I do. But whether you like it or not, Jesus. Yes, is the reason for why we are gathered here. Yes, the latter glory center is a center. facet of the family on earth. A representation of what God has done. You want to walk to somebody as you sing this song together. We are heads of the Father. We are joined heads with the Son. And we are family, and we are one. 
You remember that song? And you don't like the person, but you have no choice but to greet the person. You remember that song? The church was so small. When you touch Moko, so much when you die, oh, we better put no bad swerve Moko. Go small, small, Joe. Oh, bang, bang, come on by force. Now let's just say, let's say, let's say, as I saw from you, so anti. Oh, some person who join the family be cry. If you say you pack all you, so anti, who pump up? We need to be sure. But this time, that's how brave you. So much when you die, as I saw in your case, oh, when you touch Moko, get your big gate, a lot small gate. She at that now no more now. We are heirs of the Father. It's a warm coming song. That is what scripture has made us. Can I have the choir? Let the choir sing for us. Choir, 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 Chiaunia, Chiaunia. Yet, yeah, 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 yeah. We are generous. We are children of the kingdom. Oh, Lord. We are family. We are one. We are hers. We are hers. Yeah, 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 yeah. All the Father. Yeah, yeah. At the at the four, we are joined with the Son. We are children. We are children of the Kingdom. We are Father. Glory to God. We are glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We are family. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Shall we be seated in Jesus' name? Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. We, the next one is, we are together again. Hey. That's praising, praising the Lord. Lord. Sure. We, we are, are together, together again. With what I call oh, oh. something good is going to happen. Something good. This is love. We are together again. So it establishes. A sense of commonality. It makes us feel we belong to one another. Whether you like it or not. The name of a madman of the family does not change because he has gone mad. It is said medically that the person have a mental illness. Those days, revelation was not in abundance. But we cannot lose in the atmosphere that we have a sense of the fact that we belong to one another. This morning my prayer is Lord, we are one. So therefore Father, we thank you this morning. We ask for grace. We ask for grace and your presence on your word. Mm. We pray that as a family representing you on earth many people will come to you knowing that these ones belong to God Yes, we ask for grace breathe over your word and let your word be a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path yes. even in Jesus name amen. amen we thank God for the opportunity saluting our father and our mother of all time. 
Whether I like it or not, when you enter a home, you feel at home. We buy any by force. Oh no, dear. So people, um, people. What did they mean? Kura, ukwa. Top up there. On Sabbath, saying aka. We know they do fasting. Go my house. You go break them. Mommy, we are We salute you. So, mommy, you shall anopay. Hallelujah. We salute our senior brother, Pastor Ken. Pastor Ken and Pastor Alfred. And their lovely wives and our brothers. I want to thank the leadership for the opportunity to share with you the heart of God in times like this. The, the sense of family centeredness is winning out gradually as the days go by. And, and that should not be the case because it's the heartbeat of God to have the church as a family. So that we consider what binds us together more than what divides us. The great prophetic words that have gone over the house. It's the desire of our father in the house. To see everybody come into that realm. You agree with me if you're a parent. You will, not, you will not be interested in only one of your children progressing. Those, those who are underprivileged deserve more attention to come up. This morning, we want to consider few factors that bind us together. Gradually, we have lost focus of those things. It could be the presence of the modern trend of livelihood, which is corporate lifestyle. It could also be our personal parochial interest. It could also be the fact that we think that we don't measure up to contribute our quota in the house. And for that reason, it's important for us to remind ourselves in the journey that we are on. That we are a family. And every member of the family might be interested in the growth and the dignity of the family. Anything that can, anything that can progress us, anything that can help us to be extraordinary as a family, we all embrace. And that is very important. In Romans chapter 8, the verse number 15. It says, for we have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear. But, but you have received the spirit of adoption whereby we cry Abba Father. So pre presupposing that we all have one father. 
If we all have one father, then we have one direction of focus. Verse 16. The spirit is a bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. The spirit of God bear witness. No matter what happened in our journey with Christ, you must remember that you are not a long ranger. You can never be lonely in this walk with God. You can be alone, but does not mean you are lonely. We are all seated here because. Jesus died for us. The interesting thing is that the sin that your blood of Jesus cleansed is nowhere better than other person's sin. We all have a reason why Jesus saved us. We need to have the consciousness of the fact that we have one father. So therefore, we belong to one another. The care and concern must be for one another. The amazing thing about church is that church is not a building. Church is not the building. The building can be nice. The building can be extraordinary. But if the people in the building are not nice, the building is of no use. If the building is magnificent and the people in it are not magnificent, the building is of no use. Jesus is not coming for a building. The Holy Ghost is not operating through building. The Holy Ghost is operating through you and me. That is why in 1 John chapter 1, the verse number 3, the fellowship is with the Father and the Son, but the Holy Spirit was not mentioned. So we are fellowship with the Father, fellowship with the Son, but the Holy Spirit was not mentioned. Why? Because the Holy Spirit is in you and it's in me. So, so when the two of us meet in the name of the Lord, we establish Colonia. We establish fellowship. We establish the presence of God in each of us together. So therefore, if the Holy Ghost is in you, and the Holy Spirit is in me, what is our difference? Or what are our differences? What is the church is a place of bonding. It's a place of bonding. It's not a place of divisive tendencies and divisive strategies. It's a place of unity, a place of bonding. 
and your hope and I yet be in Papa Mo and to say, be a barbato, Nemo, see a baha, your bass, you know, been in Cambombia, and we are doing. You may not like the language I speak. A parabet, but we are connected by virtue of divine birth. And yet, as someone, a cast, I make an own pet yet, now so as I was so soon, she say, and you know, me no, me no, you may not like the background I'm coming from. But be a me free up and own pet yet. But that doesn't change the presence of the Holy Spirit that brought me to Christ in my life or in your life. No singular person in a family can change the status of a family member. One person is not a family. One part of the body cannot function to full capacity. And our spirit cried, Abba Father. And we, and we all cry, Abba Father. And we are hers. And join hands with the son. Then there is good news for us. That we are more than conquerors in Christ. That we are joined in him. There is nothing that is too strong and powerful to separate us. So this morning I want you to have in mind the church in a family setting. It's a family. And every family has dynamics. But our dynamism is from above, from Jesus Christ. But my desire and my prayer this morning is that as family members who promote the good health of the family we will, we will be concerned about developing other members of the family who one way or the other are, 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 are lacking or lagging in one way. So this morning, and I remember in the light of this some few years back, some few years back in this house, our father called certain elderly people in the church, in the family, and they came forward, and, and our father asked them to sort of parent a younger generation. How many of you remember that? So there were people who were older in the house, who were in a better position, so to say, that daddy asked that, you take care of this, you take care of that. And by virtue, by virtue of that, some people had the opportunity to complete their educations. They went through school. It is not because you have too much. But you should be concerned about somebody in the family who is, who is not able to meet up the needs. We may all not be the same. I.e. financially. I.e. spiritually we may all not be the same but we are connected we are connected irrespective of our spiritual status irrespective of our financial status irrespective of our educational background the binding element is the blood and the spirit of Christ. It is not where we come from. It's not the language you speak. But it's because I'm born again. You are born again. 
You have the spirit of God in you, and I have the spirit of God in me. Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 2. Hallelujah. The verse number 19. So the focus of the, of the church, as Apostle Paul wrote many letters to the churches, one of them is to establish the sense of the fact that we are a family and we are a body and no body, no body element can function without the other. So the way he wrote to the Corinthians when it came to the Ephesus church he established the family order and it qualified it qualified with the name household of God please we may forget where we are coming from it is easy to forget where Jesus picked you from it is very easy for you to forget where you were before Christ came for you. So the word of God said, Now therefore, she are no more strangers and foreigners. But fellow citizens with the saints. In the time past, we were foreigners to God. In the time past, because I drink, I smoke, because I indulge in vices, when I say you, I'll pass. So if I say you, I'll pass. You are alien to me. You are foreign to me. I don't see the reason why I should stop and engage you in a conversation. But the death of Jesus Christ has given me the opportunity that anybody that I meet in his presence is a family element. It's a family element. So therefore he says, and of the household of God. It therefore suggests if we live in a house, definitely there'll be a father, mother, sister, and the rest. We live in a house. Definitely, somebody will be stronger in an area than another. Does it change the family? Does it change the family name or identity? No. That is why it's a household. There are other components that make it a household. Just like on Friday. Pastor, I thank God the key right. Because the keyboardists were not there. But if they were there, I'm a man struggling. But for the first time, Pastor Ken sang from the beginning to the end. Hallelujah. <laughs> Put your hands together for the Lord. Amen. It's a family setting. Sometimes, the keyboardist will not be in. And everybody, like Pastor Brown, will be agitating. Because the household have other things coming together to make it a family. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 20. Amen. 
and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and the prophet, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. Thank God, thank God for the latter glory center. That nothing is done minus the word. The emphasis, the emphasis is Christ and the word of God. This is what binds us together. This is what we should pursue. This is bigger than any other interest. You can imagine I being a prophet. And I have the and gift of prophecy and working on miracles. And I present myself in church. And there is no member to listen to me. What a wonderful ministry. I will prophesy to the church. I will prophesy to the ceiling fan. You can imagine. Praise and worship leader. And I come to church. And nobody is present to clap. Nobody is present to even join me. What a wonderful praise and worship. And you are. A good usher you are. And you are in, in church to usher people in. And there are, there are only chairs. There are only chairs. What a beautiful usher ministry. You are a children's teacher. And you are in church. And there's no child to teach. What a beautiful children's ministry teacher. The family of the, the house. It's a place where we are built. All of us here are in the latter glory center to be built. Our capacity to be built. It shall be supervised. It shall be supervised by delegated authorities in the house. Verse 21. In whom all the building fitly framed together groweth unto an holy temple in the Lord. Now, Amplify version, please. Thank God we are structure engineers and wonderful engineers in the house. Uh, they will do justice to this structure. The <laughs> when Pastor Emil say no, 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 it is no, 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 no. So, so for Emil, because pillar way, you have fancy, yeah, you have fancy. Ekpa, ekpa. Baby, you best know a honey this. Pastor Afre back at Aji, Jeme. Can we Aji, Jeme? Be eti. Bene Baba, it's an Aji, Jeme. That's all. He will not compromise the standard. He will not do it with arrogance, with impunity, with that sort of I'm better than you attitude. He will do it in love. He will do it in love. He will do it in love. And one thing I've learned about Pastor Alfred is that as a big brother, he will disagree with you with a smiling face. So for Alfred, there's no one you can cry. Oh, can I say something? No, 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 sorry. Oh, oh, ekpe mi koko koko. Eba smiley, bekabo, ekabo, ekabo kwa agbi, shin bali. Ekpe ne no no yo, ovye jomo, she ko, she na kai sani yale. She, he will not throw his weight around you. No. 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 He will not. Oh, yes, sir. I don't want to talk about Pastor Ken. Praise the Lord. I'm enjoying the family. Oh, yes. Now look at this in Amplified Version. It says, in him, referring to Christ, 
the whole structure is joined. So all of us are structural elements. And in Christ, we are joined fitly. It says, bound and welded. Bound and welded. We are joined welded. We are bounded. This is the strain of the cross. That is the power of the blood. This is the reason of the dying Lord. And the Bible said together harmoniously. 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 It is so palatable. It is so suiting. It is so it's, it's awesome that I find you in him. That I find you in him. Don't forget I may not like your tribe. I was telling a friend yesterday, no. I love the Ghana language. Because, because well, I'm a nickname for everything. They are the only tribe that can do branding. They look at the tribe and they call them Ibeme. <laughs> and it's not in any book. You, they look at the tribe against Sonume. Ah, it's not in any book. But I love the guns. But at the end of the day, this brothers of ours in their own land, a Fafra man can be a gun chief. You go to buy land and the one in charge of the land is a full animal. In the natural, this is happening in the church. I be me, I yo ko ye jeng. Mani wa je kwe u, wa un wa ye heko, chotwe. We don't want to flow into the welding. We are consciously frustrating the grace of God. It's a conscious, deliberate attempt to frustrate the grace of God. I say unto me, I'm a son, come on, I'm a and then on your sofa can he say, and then I yes, you see, I didn't pick up, papa say, and you are not cup on Aduma or dear Guasa for no superman, Bacopeno, yes, and and it continued to rise. Nasana, so where we appreciate, where we appreciate the welding and the bonding, there is automatic growth. Nasa, your barber room, Pempe, Subia, your knee is so. So the highly spiritual will complement the highly canal and bring him or her to a place of spirituality. Because there's a rising. Because there must be a growing. The reason why you join with me is not because of what you can get to eat. But because there is a strength in me and there's a weakness in you and there's a transposition. And into a holy temple. A holy temple in the law. A sanctuary dedicated, consecrated, and sacred to the presence of the law. We are heads. We are heads of the Father. We are joint heads with the Son. We are children. We have a common place. We have a place that I need you. I need you. Sir, we hear me. And you need me. I need you. And you need me. And I will hear me. Oh yes. I need you. So so if if all of us, if all of us were tall, 
Sweeping will be very difficult. And the bar, a probably in papa papa, because the center cannot hold. Hallelujah. One a one o, I'm a boy, I'm a There's a reason why the person sitting by you is different from you, but that doesn't mean that you cannot relate. Saint Tibi Wahwa, Onipa Watu and Saint Nifa Ana Ben Kumusuno, Oya Sunko Ewo Kwenbiso. So if there's anything you can offer, offer it unto the Lord. Contribute, Contribute to the rising of the temple. Don't, don't become a langard in the family. Don't become a bahe in the house. Somebody asked me, Rasami, where are you? The first time I came to that house, I came to youth meeting. Then Brasami said, say, excuse me, you are wearing a ring. I say yes. And so, then you have to go down there. <laughs> I say, please, I'm a youth. <laughs> he said, no, but you are married. <laughs> I, say, I say, no, I'm still a youth. <laughs> Hallelujah. And I appreciate, I appreciate that, that grace on Sami from that time. He, he, he is concerned. Sometimes it gets too much. <laughs> you are appreciating for his care and concern for the house. Uh, 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 die, that is so, and I said, see here, here, and no, each and every one of us, us. No, obi we have no. something to contribute to the family. Let me say my hands. hands. If you know you have something to contribute, so there's there's something you have that the house can take advantage of. There's something you carry by God that the house can benefit from. Don't forget, the family is knitted, framed up, tight, fitted. Hallelujah. Amen. It's a place of building ourselves. As, as I stand here, it's a place of building. If you haven't come up to an extension that you will not say that, you wouldn't get it. So, you have to build the house. You have to build the house. You have to build the house. You have to build the Let's take advantage of the settings in the house. Let's take advantage of the settings in the house. And that is why what, what Pastor Brown shared on Sunday about what we have in the house as our building program. So we are children. We are youth groups. We have Herods. Herods. We are women. We have men ministry. These are the major groups in the church. And everybody, everybody in the family, you must find yourself in one of these. You must find yourself in one of these. Because it's a building platform. It's a place where Building takes place. Then we have departments. Talk about the choir. Talk about prayer. Talk about ushering. Talk about audiovisuals. There are other departments 
that you need to belong. Because we have been built. The father of the house has a vision. There is a flow that all of us must rise up into. Nothing should draw you from family meetings. In some places, it is called covenant family meetings. So as we are, we are getting ready to roll out the cell system. You should take advantage of the rolling out of the cell system to be part of the cells. Because it's not a place that what you like is what is done there. It's a building process. So there are materials, there are topics that we ought to cover. So at the cell level, you make yourself available. Sunday school is coming. It's part of the building process. You must belong to a Sunday school department. You must belong to any of the groups. Because it's the first point of identity. The father is a gang class, it's three class, it's English, adult, etc. Doesn't mean that we are different or we cannot flow. No. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we want to trust God even as we read Colossians chapter 2, verse 19 to remind of ourselves of one thing. Colossians chapter 2, verse 19. Colossians chapter 2, verse 19. So he said, and uh, you know, holding a hair from which all the body by joints and bands having nourishment ministered and knit together. Now, no, yeah. Amplify the, version. The, the, the amplify gives synonyms too, and it makes it look you know, more communicative. Yeah, and yeah. not holding fast to the head. The head is Christ. Yes, Christ only a tea, a From tea. whom the entire body supplied and knit together by means of its joints and ligaments and ligaments grows with a growth grows, grows with what? a growth this growth that is from God so there is a growth that does not come from God. There is a growth that seems in the light of man, a sources, but is not of God. There is a growth that comes from God. How good and pleasant is it for brethren to do work together in unity. There is a growth that comes from God. There is a growth that comes from God. There is a growth that comes from God. And you and I must contribute to that growth. In the book of Acts, in the first century church, the common phrase, and the Lord added to, the Lord added, the Lord added, the Lord added, the Lord who add, amen, the Lord who add, amen, when the members of the body are knitted and fitly Joined together in retrospect to the one who is the head, Jesus Christ. So our common denominator is Christ. It's Christ. 
Ah, uh, some back one obete ya hu o honi se na onyankopo edi bi kan safo no hu onyankopo edi bi e kan safo no hu na sa ade onyankopo ye ye e wo asori mfiti ase no obeye no ene biem bra me no mie no ya kabom ah ye di ye ni esi onyankopo ana kisa o ye it come from god o ni bi wa e fro nyame it may not be in numbers it may not be in numbers e me ye se ne but this growth that come from god is Christ likeness. Yes, you, you can mean? see Christocentric attributes. You you can see ube u o Christo ni Christo dia. You will see Christ in the person. That is the growth that comes from God. Not the gathering of the numbers. Not the how many years you have been in church. No, no, no. You can be in church for 25 years, 30 years. She also bank only famous. Also bank a bomb you can make your shin. It's a here. It's trying to catch you. Oh, yeah, Christo me. Yeah, that's it. I don't see your soft air can. He said, and yeah, the do do of famu. Sir, yeah, do so. Now, yeah, sir, now, sir, you know, I am a nipa. We are together. We are one. We have a family. We belong to that family. It's a place of doing good. Galatians chapter 6, the verse number 10. It's Church is a place you should find solace. Mm. But unfortunately, sometimes, sometimes, you don't find this solace in church. But, it is a place where we find solace. Galatians. 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 It's a place to do good. Chapter 6. I fear your baby. I was say, Papa, you're free. Go, you Papa, go, Femo. Female and you must share. Tell her that you're about Drobo, about Wajibu. Galatians chapter 6. Galati Fumuma, eti in Sia. The verse number 10. So then, as occasion and opportunity open up to us, and until there's an opportunity in the house. Hallelujah. Oh, there's an opportunity in the house. There's an open door in the house. There are people that need your attention. There are people that need your support. You can see in some people, literally, they need attention. They may need doctrinal attention. They may need spiritual attention. They may need financial attention. They may need parenting attention. They, they have never been a parent before. They have not married before. And they want to get married. The church provide the avenue for you to have fathers and mothers. It says, as is open to us, let us do good. Let us do good morally to all people let us do good. Let us do good. What is doing good? This is plain language. Are you doing me good? Are you doing them never sitting by you good? Are you doing somebody good? It's an opportunity. It's an opportunity. Don't call and ask Charlie Nabuche some more. Then can't tell me who I saw as sorry at don't do that. Be interested in the person. Because when COVID came, we were not meeting in the building. But as many as were relating are right, as we reach out to people, you will see that you have a family. Hallelujah. COVID exposed the church to the essence of family setting. There were people who are still in church because the church said some few provisions. They are still in church and they appreciate it a lot. And some individuals, they extended momo to others who they deem that what they may be in trouble. This is opportunity. This is an avenue. This is an occasion. The house 
is full of opportunities. The house is an occasional dwelling where you can contribute to the betterment of somebody. Uh, we have one member at the time the things were being distributed Sami called that Brother Sami called Pastor Aleno Ejolation yes I know the house so when the, the item got to the, the member the mother attends a different church then this is what the mother said hey I'm sorry there I'm sorry there and if you see the gari, the rice, the sugar, and, and all those things, plus some small token. Then she said, in my church where I've been all these years, all that she had was 20 Ghana. So because of that, the member is still a member. The mother will push the person to come to church because it's a family she has realized that this is a good family my children can belong Hallelujah. Na hallelujah. And you to do cover time, no. Sanya man kitin kiti ya safuna to say no. Yen we be oha. Ni mami and you saw ya na or campuse or no dear baby or smuno or in fear when ya sika uh twenty gana pe and uh when ya andunti and maninya and what so be wo a safimu. So I will love you to meditate on this scripture as you go back home. It says that he said that not only being useful or profitable to them, but also doing what is for their spiritual good. What is for their spiritual good. All that we do, if the center is not spiritual upliftment, then it's cost 90. Okay. The last, he said, that be mindful to be a blessing. Turn to somebody and say, Be mindful to be a blessing. Be mindful to be a blessing. Look for somebody and be a blessing. Don't wait for somebody to come and ask you to be a blessing. You yourself, look for somebody and be a blessing. Be mindful of being a blessing. Presuppose it's a conscious, deliberate attempt. Nani or Chani say, So one Casa would you show Tim now to one among say, who person will you be now yet in Shamano? Especially to those of the household of faith. The teacher will cry, and wonder, you know, any life, those who belong to God's family with you. When I own Munina, Christo, Eddie Moja at Tomono, are you in God's family? I say, Be mindful. To be of what? A blessing. You want to rise up on your feet this okay. morning. So be mindful sure. to be of a blessing. Yes, be mindful. Sure. Let it be conscious. Let it be deliberate. Let but it be, let it be calculative was attempt. Make an effort to be a blessing. Make an effort to be a blessing. Make an effort. Make an effort. Make an effort. You want to lift up your voice to the Lord this morning. This is beautiful. And let us consider. Give attentive, continuous care to watching over one another. Let us consider. Let us consider. It is our nature. It is our calling to, 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 to care. Study how we may stay up. Study how we may stay up. Stimulate and incite to love. To love. To love. And helpful deeds and noble activities. May the Lord bless his word. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God.